Today, I destroy a woodland mansion, completely overpopulate my village, finally finish my treasure room, destroy an entire chunk, and make a bunch of other improvements in my world. But first I need a cartographer, which means grabbing a couple of pieces of paper, crafting a table, making a compass, and doing a load of trading. And now that I have the Woodland Explorer map, I can go to the mansion, which is going to be a long way in this direction. I've come across a desert on my way, so I'm just making a little detour to see if I can find any notch apples. You never know, there could be one there, or there could be one there. But at the portal, we've had no joy. And at the pyramid, we've also had no joy. I also completely forgot to bring a bed so it looks like i'll be spending the night at this village don't know if i've ever seen this before but this village seems to have no houses so it looks like sheep are on the menu instead that was a little bit evil since i literally have shears right here i, I could just do this and now it's back to exploring i have gunpowder in me in the chest but I, I realize i haven't got any paper which means i'll also be grabbing a load of sugarcane on the way going to the map we're getting very very close in fact so close that we're flying over the top of it now what am i going to do at this mansion well i don't need totems i don't need emeralds i just for some reason have a desire to burn their house to the ground yeah don't look at me like that this place is going in smoke. This is going to be done to the entire roof. Is this what it's like to be a griefer? Because honestly, this feels amazing. Now I've just got to find the entrance and check on the good work. I was unsuccessful in finding that, but what I did find was a random rubbish chest. Okay, yeah, it, it seems I've caused a lot of destruction. Just complete ruin everywhere, but th there is kind of a reason for me doing this. You see, in doing this, it will release all of the secret chest. Oh my goodness, I just found one. Oh, were you trying to- Oh, is that your loot? This is what I was looking for, okay? another notch apple because chests don't burn so we can find the secret ones in the wall and hopefully get good stuff but I've, I've already got the good stuff i wanted now then was it worth it has it actually revealed any new chests to me well so far the answer is no <laughs> no it didn't hey buddy don't be angry at me like this no I'm, I'm sorry about what i did okay maybe it wasn't a good idea but despite that i still did get notch apple number 12 so you know it, it was a pretty successful mission but i'm gonna leave that destruction behind oh no i i burned down half the forest as well yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I do not want to be any part of that whatsoever. My flint and steel also only have one use left, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my offhand and collect up some XP. And I can use it to make a portal, which will speed up the time traveling back home. Next, I'm gonna go to the Guardian farm and repair both my elytra and also that flint and steel. Definitely need to create a faster system to get here as well. Although whether I can be bothered to build an entire teleporter remains to be seen. So I think I just flick this lever and the farm should work. I did have to reload the world to turn off my mob switch as well. And I can throw this like that and start collecting all the XP. And in the meantime, Guardians will be spawning extremely fast. And I think that's enough time spent at this XP farm. Once I mend these shears, everything is fine. Let's get out of here. And now I can begin my next project. On a side note, we are getting so, so close to 3 million subscribers. So if you're new, if you haven't subscribed, please could you just subscribe, guys? The next project is going to require a load of blocks. But don't worry, these blocks are only going to be temporary. And I have gone extremely high up, and I'm going to build a bunch of these to make a water chute. It's probably more efficient to do something like this. Now that this is done, I'm going to place a torch right here and some water at the top. And grab a couple of signs and a bunch of kelp. 